After spending eight years working for the International Fellowship of Reconciliation and fully realizing its profound impact that its truly remarkable work has had in support of human rights, nonviolent action and social justice. We were compelled to make a mixed media film to creatively tell this very powerful story. So in the fall of 2009, we began our most ambitious film project to date. And by the end of 2011, we wish to complete it with your kind support. Living History. How the International Fellowship of Reconciliation influenced social change around the world. We want to tell the I4 story, which will be a carefully woven mix between documentary, feature film, and actuality. With stories that come from I4 members themselves, presented in an engaging and creative way while also cooperating with volunteer actors to recreate some of the key moments in I4 history. The film will be produced in high definition, 35 millimeter motion picture film look and use digital storytelling, cartooning, animations and other techniques as well as feature great creative commons and live music. The history of nonviolent activism, the civil rights movement, social justice, gender equality and human rights would not be complete without the International Fellowship of Reconciliation's work, which spawned the creation of the American Civil Liberties Union, Amnesty International, the Congress of Racial Equality, and numerous other groups. In 2010, Egyptian peace activists asked the Fellowship of Reconciliation for permission to reprint and translate a comic book produced by the Fellowship about Martin Luther King Jr. over 50 years ago to use in their nonviolent campaign to remove the Mubarak regime from power. Thich Nhat Hanh, Buddhist Zen master and former president of I-4, has also agreed to appear in the documentary. Thich Nhat Hanh, who was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize by Martin Luther King Jr. in 1968, was originally brought out of Vietnam to the USA and Europe by Alfred Hassler to escape persecution by the Vietnamese government. During the civil rights movement in the USA, FOR field secretaries Glenn Smiley, Baird Rustin, and James Lawson, who Martin Luther King Jr. called the leading theorist and strategist of nonviolence in the world, organized the Journey of Reconciliation, the Freedom Rides, the Tennessee Lunch Counter sit-ins, and trained Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in Gandhian nonviolent tactics and strategies. Muriel Lester, a stirring speaker and writer, served as I-4 traveling secretary throughout the world and worked alongside Mahatma Gandhi fighting for India's independence. During World War II in the south of France, thousands of Jews and other refugees were successfully hidden and smuggled to safety by I-4's André and Magda Trocme, who led the villagers of La Chambon to establish a haven in the midst of Nazi and Vichy terror. Hildegard Gossmeyer, Jean Goss, and Richard Dietz training in active nonviolence led to the 1986 People Power Movement's overthrow of the Marcos regime in the Philippines. Hildegard and Jean's work in Latin America with Nobel Peace Prize winner Adolfo Perez Esquivel led to the founding of Serpa. Founded in 1919 in response to the horrors of war in Europe, I-4 has taken a consistent stance against war and its preparation throughout its history. Perceiving the need for healing and reconciliation in the world, the founders of I-4 formulated a vision of the human community based upon the belief that love and action has the power to transform unjust political, social, and economic structures. To date, we have already filmed Hildegard Gosmeyer, Adolfo Perez Esquivel, Richard Dietz, James Lawson, Laura Hasler, Isabel Goiskins, Bina Sebastian, Stella Tamang, Virginia Barron, Rui Das, Mane Rosa Mania, Nina Pakowski, Tess Ramiro, Adakim Chikandamina, Namo Sitole, Kayoko Itaka, Takeshi Watanabe, Zogbi Zogbi, Rabbi Jeremy Milgram, Lucas Johnson, Sean Pierce, Rick Offord Chase, and Rabbi Lynn Gottlieb. I4 members share a vision of a world where conflicts are resolved through nonviolent means, where systems that foster fear and hatred are dismantled, and where justice is sought as a basis for peace. In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends.